I'm going to show you how to absolutely glitch any match defense in Madden 22 for easy gains, either a huge dot about 25 to 30 yards or even a one play touchdown out of the trips tight end formation. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos like this multiple times a day. Every single day, we're trying to become a better Madden player here on the channel. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I would really encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to do that. You can always unsubscribe if you don't enjoy the videos. Guys, we are uh, talking today about the PA slot corner against uh, match coverage. I think this is one of the best route combinations in the entire game because it not only beats match coverage, but also beats pretty much every defense in the game. But it's best utilized if your opponent is running a lot of match coverage in, and even more than that, how we're going to be able to bomb cover four palms and cover six, which are two of my personal favorite matches, uh, match defenses in the entire game. So here's how this is going to work. Uh, I'm going to audible over to the cover four palms out of the 335, just kind of out of habit. And what you're going to see here, this is the 335 or the nickel normal cover four palms. So you can see cover four palms. What you are going to see is we are going to, the setup's actually relatively simple. All we're going to do is we're going to streak the, the uh, triangle receiver here, Scotty Miller. We're going to zig Mike Evans, and we are going to put the tight end on a quick little five-yard in route. I believe that this five-yard in route is one of the best things that you could put that tight end on. You could put him on a curl. You could put him on a lot of different options. But in my opinion, for the way that most people like to defend trips tight end, the five-yard in provides perfect timing, perfect spacing, and replaces their user, which is so so important so uh, what you're going to see here is at the snap of the ball the cover four palms will almost always allow you to hit this corner route uh, to the right I threw that just a little bit behind uh, let me show that one more time here so cover four palms through that just a, a split second behind uh, but you will rarely throw interceptions against this which I really like so anyway here's cover four palms you watch here pass it outside and you see that that's wide open okay so we have that option in our uh, arsenal that the patriots defensive backs are probably the highest rated dbs in the entire game so let me show you how this works against cover six cover six typically whenever it's defending a three uh, a, a three wide receiver set to one side a trip set what's going to happen is it's going to play very similar to how cover four palms play so what you can see here is cover six and as you see basically the exact same thing and we're able to throw the corner route on the sideline now the beauty of this is the cover four quarters is essentially the same thing and i'm going to show you something kind of special about this formation that i don't think a lot of people realize about trips i did most people are accustomed to they're just going to run the trips to the wide side of the field and that's what they're going to do there's actually some really good short side setups but anyway here's cover four quarters as you can see it's even more open against cover four quarters um very much so wide open now i want to show you and that's that's what pe most people run most people who run match on you because they're out of wide uh because most people run uh three three five wide in this game uh they're going to they're going to give that up because the match coverage that is in three three five wide is the cover four show two and the way that the cover four show two works is exactly like that that's what they're going to give up because it's cover four quarters that's the way that match works as you can see that is very consistently wide open every single time now the last thing that i want to uh, kind of talk about with you today is a, a special kind of twist to this so uh, that is that we're going to put the ball over here, okay? Now, the reason why is because for a lot of different setups out of trips side end, like PA counter go, vertical, there's a lot of different setups that you can run with your trips to the short side of the field. It's also a very good place to be able to run the ball and all of those things. So what you're going to see is if I go to the cover four show two, you're going to see that for the most part, this is going to essentially work exactly the same. So again, we're going to do this. Now, the guy that is supposed to go guard the corner route is the three rec hook defender. The reason he doesn't is because of this tight end uh, in route. That's why I like the in route versus the the, uh, the uh, curl, which what most people like to do is they put the curl. As you can see, we still have the corner route wide open. Okay. Now, this is what's really, really cool. So if I go to cover for uh, palms, we're going to throw corner routes in the boundary. Most people would never do that. But why I like to throw these corner routes in the boundary is against cover four palms. What you're going to see is oftentimes there's going to basically dumb out. And as you can see, I'm going to get this guy over the top. What happens is they run into each other. And especially if their ratings are not the best, what I have found is they actually will both try to go cover that corner route and actually leave uh, that guy wide open. So that was cover four palms. And now let me show you cover four 
uh, or cover six, I apologize. Uh, so how this will, obviously you still have your in route, right? You still have a lot of things that are open. Your in routes then be there, uh, as you can see. That time I actually played fairly decent. They still ran into each other, but the guy kind of got over the top. If you fade triangle, sometimes that's a little bit more helpful. Um, but the bottom line is, guys, you're going to have something for pretty much whatever they're going to do. Obviously, we can still check down to the dig. Okay, you can always check down to the dig. Most of the time, the corner is going to be wide open. As you can see how they run into each other, and I can throw that. That's the beauty of this, this uh, route combination. Now, the last thing that I want to say is this is one of the ways that Skimbo tried to defend prob or uh, tried to defend Spam and Button. Spam and Button is a big-time trip side end guy. I believe that he's probably the best trip side end player that we've seen in the last two years, including Jay Wall and Fancy in that category. I think that Spam and, to a degree, could get better in a lot of ways if he studied some other guys. I'm not sure that he does. He probably does, but the bottom line is he's the best that I've seen. And anyways, the reason I wanted to say that is because one of one of people's strategies, I actually played somebody in week league that defended me like this was they were basically going to play cover four and then they were going to hard flat over here and then they were going to basically use her on this side of the field and that that's why i kind of started to do this setup and the reason why is because uh what you're going to see is that there there if there's no deep defender um or there's no like 30 yard cloud on that side there's nobody to guard that route well, they have to have a 30-yard cloud and also an underneath cloud and a yellow. So now they have to have a, a, a five-man coverage to that side to be able to stop this one play. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So uh, let's say, for example, that this is their user, and they say, you know what, we're going to go guard the corner. We're going to guard the corner. We're not going to let you have the corner route. We're going to take that away. What you're going to see, and this is where I started running this little tight end in route, is their user goes there, and now look how this is wide open, and I can go for it. If I threw that a little bit earlier, I could get that open for a good five to ten yards if not even more, one thing you might consider, and again, um, this is something that I do like to do, um, you know, when I'm running this, one thing you might consider is smart routing the tight end in route. Uh, just get it to go a little bit deeper, give you a little bit more time. Um, the one thing, the reason I don't like to do that is sometimes the user can cover both. So, but anyways, as you can see, this play right here really does obliterate cover four. It beats every coverage in the game, but what I like about it is you can run it on either hash mark and you have a significantly higher uh, success rate. So this is just one of my favorite passing concepts to utilize to literally beat every single coverage in this game. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you watch this video and you say, you know what, I want to learn the trips tight end offense, I want to put a link to my Patreon in the description below. By joining the Patreon, you're going to get immediate access to every single ebook that I have released so far in the Madden 22 season. We've released 13 ebooks, eight uh, defensive ebooks, five offensive ebooks. Trips tight end is one of those five offensive ebooks. We've also got more ebooks on the way. I've been labbing a ton. I've probably labbed more this year than I've ever labbed a game. I feel like Madden 22, to be quite honest with you, is probably one of the hardest Maddens that I've ever played. But I actually feel like I've gotten a lot better as the year has gone on uh, because I'm I'm practicing, I'm labbing, I'm putting together uh, schemes and concepts. I'm studying some of the best players in the community. And so those are all things that I would recommend to you if you're trying to get better at this game getting an ebook getting a membership getting something so that you can kind of get into the mind of these people uh, i think it's actually very very valuable you're gonna get a lot out of it if you truly want to become a better madden player like i said i would encourage you to join our patreon it's super cheap you're, you're only paying 10 bucks a month and you can cancel whenever you want but you pay 10 bucks a month you get instant downloads to all the ebooks you get everything act literally instant access to everything that we've got and uh, you can just start devouring content and just absolutely learning the ins and outs of what make a good scheme offensively and then how you can combat some of the best offenses in the game uh, defensively so thanks for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video and again if you want to sign up for the patreon membership there's going to be a link down in the description you just click that link it'll take you right over to the website it's patreon.com slash cody ballard we'll get you all squared away thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later